this sad situation of not being able to write in english is not because they haven't taken enough initiative but because they are not at all trained to do so this is not the case of just one subject but many others even though kalgatki is comparatively in a better position than many other taluks in karnataka this taluk has an acute lack of subject wise teachers which in turn is affecting the quality of education ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಐತ್ರಿ ಆದ್ರಿಂದ ನಮಗ ಆರ್ ವಿಷಯಕ್ಕೆ ಆರು ಮಂದಿ ಟೀಚರ್ ಬೇಕಾಗ್ತಿತ್ರಿ ಮತ್ತ ಪಿ ಸರ್ ಪಿ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕಾಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆ ಒಂದರಿಂದ ಎಂಟನೇ ತನಕ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಐತಿ ಗುರುಗಳು ಚಲೋ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಆದ್ರೂ ಮೂರು ಮಂದಿ ಇದಾರ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಸಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಒಬ್ರು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ಇಂತು ಅಂತಾರ ಇನ್ನು ನಮ್ಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಕ್ಲಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರು ಬೇಕಾಗಿರ ಟೀಚರ್ ಬೇಕಾರ ಮತ್ತೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಪೊಲೀಸರು ಹಳಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟರಿಂದ ಅಕ್ಷರದಿಂದ ಓದಾಕೋದು ಬರ್ತೈತಿ ಬರ್ಯಾಕ ಬರ್ತೈತಿ ನಾವು ಕೇಳ ಕ್ಯಾ ಬಂದ ಚಾತಿಯ ಬರ ಲೈಕ್ ಅನೀಶಾ many other children have their own dreams there is a saying education is the way from darkness to light but here the quality of education remains a big question mark no, the subject wise is not uh, okay but uh, that effect is the quality of education uh, we are complimented uh, in the education department it is purely that effect of education department the government is not recruited teachers in the for before before 5 years the crisis of teaching has been an unresolved issue for almost a decade now one of the main reason is that there is no recruitment taking place which increases the workload on the existing teachers they also have to teach other subjects that they are not specialized in like a mathematics teacher is also forced to teach biology sarkar ki taraf se mil raha hai mid day meals aur ha milk मिल सभी मिल रहा है उससे भी हमें बहुत जरूरी है कि स्टाफ चाहिए मेन प्रॉब्लम है कर्नाटक में मेन प्रॉब्लम है कोई स्टाफ वो नहीं ले रहा है गवर्नमेंट उसका स्कीम ही नहीं ले रहा है सभी जॉब जॉब देने का वो जो अभी तीन साल से बंद हो गए another main reason for the lack of teachers in these rural areas is the difference in the pay compared to teachers teaching in urban areas despite doing extra work this difference in pay makes them reluctant to take up work in rural areas The government has stopped recruiting teachers even though there exists 89 vacancies in the taluk. There is also an attempt to fill up the vacancies by hiring guest teachers to save money spent on a permanent staff. According to government submissions, there is a vacancy of 52,000 teachers in government schools across the state in both primary and secondary levels. Just for example, um, Galigyulu Kupa High School, uh, only three uh, teachers are there. Since from 2006 to 2014, the government that did not give the, um, what you can say, permission to fill the um, post. Since the government schools are failing to give education with quality, that a young generation demands, we can see a trend of more people enrolling under the RTE. There is an increase in the enrollment from 2012 to 2013 by 113 percent. Out of 1,10,000, 44,000 children were accommodated in the very first year. Second year, out of same, almost 1.10 lakh, 73,000 children were accommodated. So 44 to 73 is a big job, second year. 
so you can get that information of words also. And third year, during 1415, that number is 93,690. An expert says that the RTE is a good initiative by the government and the success of RTE shows that the people have a negative approach to the idea of sending the children to government schools. India has one of the largest population of young people and majority of that population is from the rural areas. The population of these young people can be considered as an investment for the growth of our nation, both economically and socially. But the current scenario in the field of education is disappointing. Since the ruling class has shown an ignorant attitude towards the whole issue of teaching crisis, this is a growing threat to the future of our country. Hope the clouds will lift away and the support will flow in for the schools across the rural areas of our country for providing quality education to our future generations.